Hi, welcome to another video from Effective Maintenance Dashboards. This is Jason Davidson. In this video, we will cover creating a drill through from a card. So a drill through requires there to be a category. So if we look at a card, there is no category. There's just a field. So that is a value. So there's, there's really nothing for the drill through to, to, to latch onto. So if you look at an existing drill through, the report needs to have a category. So days and backlog, department, discipline, something that's actually a field in the um, in the table or a calculated column that's been added. So how do we overcome this? So what we actually, or there may be other ways, but the way I'm going to demonstrate today is using this here. We're going to use a 100% stacked bar chart. So I'm going to add a new bar chart in here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add it to the, the safety card here. So this card is showing 26 work orders and that's the safety critical backlog for this particular um, particular site. So we're going to add exactly the same measure as the measure that's on the card. So backlog count. So let's add the backlog count in here. So this dashboard here uh, has been created, I've got a course, so this dashboard here has been created prior to this video and I've got a course, a free course at effectivemaintenancedashboards.com I'll leave a link underneath and that course will show you how to create the, the backlog um, dashboard and then I've got some courses as well that can show you how to create this conditional formatting um, but for now if we just um, add this here and we can use this dashboard as an example of how we can add a drill through to the card. So I'm going to add in here the battle count, which is a measure that I've already created. So you add the measure in there and it's going to give us a bar and it's a hundred percent. So it doesn't matter what this, this is always going to be a hundred percent. Okay. So if we've got multiple different um, categories in here, it will split those categories and show their, um, the proportion of that percentage. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add in an x-axis. So the x-axis is going to be safety. Now I have added these in and I've added in a, the title there is, has, has just been text I've written in and I've pre-filtered this visual to only show the work criticality which is one which is the code for safety. So I'm going to go and add in safety as the axis. Or work critical or work criticality but I'm going to filter it for safety one and if you hover on top of here we can see yeah work criticality is one and we've got the backlog there so the next thing we need to do is tidy up or configure this this card here so what I'll do is make sure the filter's on. So that's on. We can minimize that now and we can hide it. And I never hid it. I actually cleared it using that rubber there. And we're going to go and make this bar as wide as possible. And that's going to be our target area. So we're going to start off by switching off the X axis. And then we are going to switch off the title. And then we are going to go into the Y axis and we're going to change the type to categorical. And we're going to change the minimum category width, width right up to the widest, which is 180. We're going to change the inner padding to 0%. And that's made it tight wider as well. And then we're going to switch off this title here. And we can see that that has made it as wide as possible. If we start to reduce that, you can see it starts to shrink slightly. Now, the next thing we need to do is if we go back in to the format is if we switch off the Y axis, you can see we've now got a block of color. Okay. Now the only problem is that color is black and if we go into our data colors we can go in and make it a custom color 
and we can make it white but we actually need it to be transparent we need that color to be transparent and we can't make it transparent in here so let's just choose blue doesn't really matter and the next thing we need to do is add a new measure and we're going to use this measure so i'm going to go up to our conditional format and measures so we've got a load of conditional format and measures here that i created in a previous course and i can show you how that works to conditionally format each one of these but we're going to use this conditional format and measure here in a slightly different way and it's going to be to define a static value so we'll create a new measure and this conditional formatting measure is going to be called white trans for transparent and it's going to be fff ff six f's and then two zeros at the end and that two zeros is the percentage of transparency that you want the color to be and it's going to be zero zero which is a hundred percent so we're now then going to use the measure to populate the color for the data bar so we go to the default color um, or we go into color um, data colors and we click this little button these three dots here go to conditional formatting and we're going to select this field value here now I've got like I mentioned before if you're interested in conditional formatting and you should be because it's really important to be able to highlight problems and opportunities in any dashboard then I've got a course on how to some basic conditional formatting and also some advanced conditional formatting that you can check out at the effectivedashboards.com site so under here we're going to choose that measure which is white trans and something isn't quite right there let's just double check what's happened here one two three four five six that didn't recognize it data colors let's just check this out the value okay i figured out what's wrong here we go i forgot to put the hash at the start of here we need that hash and now we can see that this value here is white so why is it not transparent well, there's one last thing you need to do and that's to switch off the back the background so we can switch the background off and we can now see that is transparent so let's move this to cover the same space as the now we can see the difference here the pop-up here there is none the pop-up here has got work criticality equals one and battle count is 26 okay so now we can click on here and because it's activated as a filter this now becomes a filter so we could potentially get rid of these as well um but we'll leave it on for just now and that will filter by by safety critical because we're essentially clicking on the one bar on the stacked bar chart now the other thing we need to do now is activate the drill through so here we can see that drill through there. So how did we do that? If we go back to work our details and in the drill through here, we've added work criticality. So we just need to add work criticality into this drill through. It was already there. And now, and if you need to know how to set up the drill through, then check out my drill through video. So now we can drill through and look at the work order details. And there should be 26 work orders there. Okay, so hopefully that's helped you to understand how we can create a drill through on a card and use a card as a filter and also use the card to drill through and view the underlying work orders. Thanks for listening and I'll talk to you in another video.